Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at the techstop.net. It's an Easter Sunday edition. Christ has risen, and he wants you to get your geek on. Hello, I'm your host, Robert Balasser of the Society of Jesus, the California province of the Jesuits, and I'm seated next here to, and my English note works so well, uh, Father Jesus Palomino, also known as Chewy, also of the Society of Jesus. Hello, Chewy, welcome to the show. Thank you, it's great to be in the show. Good, it's... good. W what are you doing these days? Uh, this year I have been teaching at Bellarmine College Preparatory oh. in San Jose. Yes, very wonderful. I'm a graduate of Bellarmine, go Bells. Indeed, uh, yes. Very high quality, high caliber students and... Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> moving on. Moving on. We're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in the underground bunker where we're kept safe from nuclear strikes and uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Among other things. Among other things. Uh, let's get on to the tech. Now, you may have noticed that we're surrounded by bunnies. Well, okay, they're not, I mean, not really bunnies. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like ice cream cones with ears. Go but bells. Go bells, yes. Uh, but uh, they're from a company called Violet in France. They're called Nabis Tag, and it, they advertise it as the first and the second Wi-Fi bunny. We sent one of these home with uh, Chewy last week, and uh, he got a chance to play around with it. What did you find, Chewy? Well, first of all, you know, this uh, cute little bunnies or uh, bell-looking things with ears are also called in, uh, intelligent internet uh, devices, which means that, you know, they're not just for uh, decorative purposes, but they connect to the internet. And, you know, in that regard, they become a part of the that new trend of social networking, or they can become a part of that. In what way? Because you can, you know, with... Um, by, by being connected to the internet 24-7, you can send messages or receive messages from your friends, your buddies, or even to, um, you know, like, uh, to work like post-its. Post-its. In the sense of, if you're one of those persons that tends to forget things, you can set yourself some reminders uh, and send them through the bunny. And the bunny will automatically, at a certain time, you know, they, they, they'll remind you. You know how strange it sounds that you say you send it through the bunny, right? Okay, well, no, but no, that's cool. So <laughs> I, I know you can configure these to read RSS feeds or read emails. Uh, they, you can actually even send music through them, send MP3s, which is, that's kind of cool. In fact, uh, Interop, which is going to happen in about a month or so, mm -hmm. uh, which is the largest networking conference in the world. I, I think I talked about that in a previous episode. We've received a few of these uh, Navis tags from Violet to use as uh, network status devices. My favorite feature is one of the geeks has figured out a way to position the ears to indicate uh, incoming and outgoing traffic. So, you know, high traffic, low traffic, no traffic. Yeah, well, if you, if you look at the Navistag website, you'll find out that there's a, a real community that has built around these. It's the social networking thing that you've talked about, yeah. where people are actually customizing the bunnies. I mean, they're they're dressing them up. You can replace the ears so that uh, you can get ones that have the, the proper colors. I've, I've been thinking about replacing this with, like, a, a glow stick. A glow stick? Yeah, make it like, the, you know, the rave bunny, you know. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay. No. Don't put it in your bedroom. It's going to be hard to sleep at night. Wow. Okay, not going there. All right, <laughs> good. <laughs> well, uh, we've got a little video here that's going to show you how easy it is to set up one of these these bunnies and how easy it is to use it or send messages to yours or to or to anybody to anybody's uh, right know, as long as they have a bunny. Yeah, I just I'm not used to saying bunny in the same you know te <laughs> technology bunny technology bunny, but stay tuned and have a watch. The two versions of the Navis tag share design and function. They use the same detachable magnetic ears, and they both have a single button for configuration, features, and functions. Whereas the original Nabis Tag has a volume switch that could be toggled between high, low, and off, the Nabis Tag Tag has a headphone port and a volume wheel for a wider range of sound levels and output options. Other than that, these Bunny Brothers differ in that the Tag version has slightly faster message load times, has a glossier surface, and has the belly button, a microphone and RFID reader. They both have the same setup process. You connect power with the power button held down, and when the bunny turns blue, it becomes an ad hoc device that you can connect to with a wireless laptop or desktop. Once connected, the rabbit has a built-in web page that allows you to set SSID, security, and proxy options. After our reboot, the rabbit is connected to the internet, and you can log into the device on the Nabis Tag website. 
Here you can configure your Navistag to report on financial portfolios, advise you of the weather or the time, play podcasts or nabcasts, read RSS feeds, give you business news, or play music. You can also use the site to publish your own nabcasts for use by other Navistags. To send a message with Navistag, you simply type in the name of the rabbit that you want to reach, type your message, select the voice in which you want Navistag to read, select a lighting scheme, then click send. Who is your daddy? Who is your daddy? Say my name and tell me that I am your daddy. <laughs> Sending an MP3 is even easier. You choose a file that you have previously uploaded, and then you send it to the rabbit that you want to play the song. One of the cooler features of the Navistag tag is its ability to listen to voice commands. In this case, I just hold this down until I hear the beep, and then I give it the command that I want it to follow. Radio WNYC. WNYC's web streams are supported by the New School, offering a bachelor's degree designed for adults. With so a few final thoughts about the Navistag. There's only one major drawback that I can see, and that's the way that they chose to access the bunnies. So you don't actually connect to the bunny. You're not sending a message to the bunny. You're sending a message to Violet servers back in France and then in a process that they call polling, like every once in a while your rabbit will go off onto the internet, check the server to see if there's a message or an action waiting for it. Which may, basically means that there's a delay of as long as it it could be as long as two minutes. If if someone sends you a message right after your your Navis tag has polled, it'll wait another two minutes before it polls again. So it's not really instant. Uh, that's the only drawback yeah. I could see. So in terms of social networking, you couldn't really actually call it an yeah. instant message. No, it's yeah. kind of instant delayed message. Uh, now. I understand the reasons for this because Violet has tried to add value to the Nabis tag by they, they, they make features on their website that they, they want to release. And the only way that they could really do that is if the bunnies had to come back mm -hmm. to the website to, to check for their messages. Uh, also, I understand that they couldn't have the bunnies check every five seconds because if you multiply that by all the bunnies in the world... That's a denial of service attack, basically. Yeah, yeah they DOS themselves out of existence. Even though I'm a hardcore geek, I would have no problem with having one of these things on my desk or in my office. Uh, they're just cute. They're, What's, yeah. What do you find attractive about them, Ron? You know, something about a blob of plastic with ears just... <laughs> ooh, ooh, yes. It's, you could say that it's a productivity enhancer, but, uh, you I know, mean, no, it's just fun. Yeah. It's okay that I, it's just fun. That's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget at the techstop.net. I want to thank you for stopping by, and uh, I, I really want to thank everyone who watched the videos on YouTube or downloaded from the Tech Stop or left us comments and messages. If you want to find out more about the Nabis Tag or the Nabis Tag tag, you can go to www.thetechstop.net, click on the Gadget tab, and then you'll be able to read the full review of the, uh, of the bunnies or uh, check out where you might be able to buy them in prices in your area. And, or, if you have a comment and you would like to uh, send us an email, just, uh, it's gadget at thetechstop.net. Yes, yes. Again, happy Easter. I hope everything is wonderful for, for you. And uh, I've been your host, Robert Balasser. And Father Jesus Palomino. This is Gadget, just reminding you that there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs> Take care.